Nyla Gamer here and today we are back with some more Generations. So if you missed out on the last episode, we were just messing around with the whole parenthood pack and like I said before, it's awesome as a new addition to this Let's Play because we are a Generations Let's Play so parenthood was an ideal thing. But today we are going to be doing a little bit of different things. I normally don't play with careers and I normally just do a random event and then we just finish the episode there or we just age up the kids and that's not what I'm gonna do today. Um, I normally just never know what to record but today I was like okay I have an idea and you know I sat down on the computer and I did it so we're gonna go through with it alright. So um, today what I have planned to do is first go and play with Madison and go to the hospital because if you guys didn't know Madison is a level 8 uh, doctor and our task is to deliver a baby and let's be real guys like um, I've only played twice on camera with the careers with Hunter and her so I do a lot off camera and I've been trying so hard to deliver a baby so hopefully today you know I'm on camera hopefully I have that magic and I'm able to deliver a baby but another thing I wanted to do was um, go with Isabella later today to go make her have friends um, also Isabella is a grade A student like I said last episode I believe I mentioned that I wanted to age her up as soon as she hit um like an A student because there's not much for her to really do as a child like as a child you just you know work to um get a good grades in school and build up some skills and with a toddler it's the same thing it's you're just building up the skill but um when we get teens and children I think that'll be a lot of fun because there are curfews and there are just more responsibilities and you know teens like to be rebellious so I think that's gonna be really fun but I do want her to have some friends because let like look at this list they're all adults she has no kid friends like the only kid friends she has are her siblings and that's um you know that's pretty sad so we're gonna hit the park later today after Madison gets out of work. I believe she gets out at ugh, she gets out at seven. That's a bit late, but you know what? We're gonna make the best of it. Also, um, if you guys didn't notice, Madison has her old hair back. You know she's bringing in the look. I did give her a makeover, and um, I think it's just a cute little thing. It's nothing big, honestly. I just changed it because I didn't like one outfit that she had and you know I was not in favor with it also what else did I do oh okay so I renovated the house a bit you know so I changed up the living room it has a lot more pastel like really cheerful colors over here um it's pretty empty still because I didn't know what to do like under the staircase I just have a fish tank with no fish <laughs> we'll add fish later or we'll purchase it right now we're gonna fully stock it you know and then I put a foosball table under the stairs I just don't know what else to add like there's nothing for me to add I just think it looks really empty still so I'm still working on that then I added two rooms over here I added like a dining room over here um because the dining table was just really awkwardly placed like too much space was everywhere and that just bugs me a lot so I just made it into a room and then over here I made a little like music studio I don't know some music room for Madison with a little electro um, keyboard and I think it's so cool like I really like that and it looks out outside and as you can see we got a pool awesome um, I'm still on the fence <laughs> with how I like this um, I don't I don't know I don't like it but like I don't hate it but like I just don't know how I feel 
I think I'm gonna take out the deck. I think it just looks really awkward because I was going for a idea of like a pool on a deck with some chairs around it, but then it just looks really squared and I don't like that. I don't know. Maybe you guys like it. Let me know in the comments down below, but I'm not a fan of it. But, you know, I was just trying to change things up. I'm not a builder, as you guys can tell, but, you know, I was just adding some stuff and I don't know this is just whatever so this is up to you guys like in my opinion I just think it looks really awkward and it looks humongous like it looks so big but look at that water detail like that looks so nice but I also added a little barbecue set and a little like seating for the patio and um, I added a little garden box uh, because I want to start planting some more and I added this lonely, lonely, lonely uh, monkey bar set because we can just go to the park and play with like the astronaut or the ship, you know, any of that stuff. So I just think this is a cute little thing at home and then I added a basketball hoop over here that I had um hunter and isabella play with the other day and besides that everything's pretty much the same all the rooms are the same and guys we got new snow globes so i actually was um what's up over here this wall is not painted i just noticed um let me check this out okay that bugged me sorry guys but we actually got new snow globes and we got this limited edition um Plum Bob snow globe. Look how cute that is. So I was just looking through the box, just you know, casually. I was just, I didn't even mean to do it on purpose. Like Madison just stopped, stopped in front of a snow, a uh, little box, and I was like, girl, you know what to do. So we got this other one. Oh, that's so cute, Stanley the Jackalope snow globe. So our collection is coming together. Um, oh, and we got another one actually. I just noticed. Okay, we got a lighthouse. I don't think we have a lighthouse. Okay, so we just need one more to fill up the um, shelf. And then I got this poster. So it's like, what? what's next? The Ang by Angsty. So that's a, that's a cool poster. I don't know where I'm going to put that. Um, it just looks really awkward there. But maybe over here in the living room, we can just add a place with the shelves and stuff. Um maybe set like a little table and have all of our snow globes there I think that'd be pretty cool also I added a little building block down here cuz I felt so bad that the toddlers kept going up and down the steps and you know it takes them a while so I just added a little toy downstairs if they wanted to hang out with whoever down here oh my god what is up with me and all these walls not painted look at this what a mess all right I'm pretty sure everything's painted now. All right, I think I'm good. So today, like I said, we are going to go to the hospital and go deliver a baby. So right now, um, Mason and who is up? Abigail are crying. I have no idea why. But, you know, Mama Madison is over here trying to comfort them. So we're going to, let's see, we're going to parent, no, we're just going to be friendly, you know, comfort him. And then Abigail is always waking up, poor Isabella, like, I feel so bad for her, she needs to go to sleep, she has school later, and then she likes to wake up everybody, I'm pretty sure she's the clingy one. Yeah, she's, she likes to wake up everybody. Like, I'm not kidding. She's always waking up everybody. She's a mess. So, um, I don't know where Mason went. Oh, everybody's going downstairs. Okay. So, Madison. Madison's in an awesome mood. She's chilling. Like, all her needs are up. I needed her to do some stuff. Like, I, I had nothing for her to do. Like, I was filling up all her needs, and she's good. She is good to go. So she can actually take care of the babies. Um, are they tired? They're a bit hungry. Okay, well, 
Mason needs to go to the bathroom, so I'm just going to have him use the bathroom down here. And then I'm going to give her some food. I'm going to have her come here. And then Madison just, you know, put down Abigail over here. Cute little Jade. She's no trouble. She literally does nothing except she smells like trash right now. But, you know, that can be fixed. And let's see. Isabella, you're chilling. And Madison, you have things to do. People to see, you know? Alright. Also, I did renovate the hospital. Um, You guys are going to see it later on today. It's not the best. But, you know, I just wanted to figure it out. I'm still working on some of the patient rooms because I had a cute little setup and then Madison could not work and it was just annoying me and then the day was over so this would be the next time that I would see the hospital but I think it was coming out pretty good. I just don't know how I feel about the patient rooms and some stuff but for the most part I think it came out pretty darn well. So we're going to actually have Mason come up here and go back to sleep because I don't even know why he's up. And then Madison, you have nothing to do. Let's see these little tests. Um, search for vampire information, collect a new frog, and watch comedy on TV. Oh, also another thing I wanted to do was, okay, so for our traits, um, we have an only line, which is to make us more fertile, but like, I only have two more t more spaces for the the whole like household to be full so let's say if we do have another or uh, kids which I'm definitely gonna have more kids but let's say we do um I feel like they're just gonna come out like twins obviously if I have them at home so I don't want that actually um so I was thinking about taking that off and having a teen neighborhood so we can have more kids around because Isabella is going to age up soon and then uh, Mason's going to age, age up soon. He's like the next one and then you know the rest of them are going to age up soon. So I think it'd be really cool to have a teen neighborhood around um, because you know we'll have more people to interact with and it'll just create everything a lot better because um, the good schools, like, that's really easy to get good grades and, um, party plays. I think this one's, like, the best one. Yeah, I think that's, like, the best one for now because, um, this one's for Hunter, this one's for, you know, Madison, and then this one's for the kids, so I think it just splits up for everybody, so I think that's, um, the best option, which I'm really excited to see new teens. Also, if you guys have any little teens you want to add, or children, or friends that you think that you guys have as sims, you can definitely leave your username down below, like, set your family, whoever you want, and... I would definitely add them into the game. Oh my god. You saw her? She smacked the food out of her place. Um, I wish I could discipline her on that. I don't know. She never eats. Like, she's always throwing her food everywhere. Oh, she's done. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. She's always done. So, I'm going to actually have her... Oh, okay. I guess he's taking her out. So, I actually wanted her to come and clean this up. Clean that up. Like, what was that? She just stomped in it. So we're going to have her throw that away. I don't know why she always does this. She literally throws everything everywhere. She's a mess. Literally a mess. Okay, so Madison starts work in about two hours. Not much to do. Who, who just used her diaper? All the babies are in here how cute so I'm actually going to have him wake her up and give her a bath because she smells terrible Mason go shower what's happening over here she had like a nightmare or something oh comforting light from waking up near a nightlight what does this say 
The soothing light from the nightlight was so comforting. I don't even know how she saw this because it's like literally over here and there's so much light around her. But you know what? Do you? So she needs to go to school. Um, I need her to wake up and we're going to take her a shower. So we're going to give her a bubble bath. And why did we get 10 simoleons? Most probably because she threw away some stuff. He's just dancing. He always loves to dance. But I'm going to have him go to sleep. And let's see what's happening downstairs, Madison. I actually want you to start practicing on the keyboard because I haven't really had her do much. And I think this floor is just really cool, like really creative, funky dance room place. So right now she does sound terrible. She's just doing dog noises like these animal things but you know it's gonna be cool after a while does she get piano or keyboard yeah she gets piano okay that's awesome because then we if we want a classical piano we can definitely get that and she'll still have a good um skill level so how cute he is hunter it's all went now thanks to a toddler's bath Aw, Jade is so cute. Oh my god. How cute. Alright, so... Okay, finally we're off to work with Madison. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so... Looks like the Land Grab Power Company has shut off the power to our house. Um... Oh. Oh, Hunter works at this time, too. Okay, so I'm going to have him work hard because she is so close to a promotion, actually. And I'm going to pay the bills. $4,000. Oh, my God. But we are going to do... Oh, let me show you the hospital real quick before I start. So, I didn't really do that. Well, we I did some stuff, but I don't know how I feel about it either. Like... The other day I was just, you know, building and renovating some things and I just don't know how I feel about everything. I was watching so many videos. Um, I was watching this one person. I forgot her name right now, but she's awesome. She can build. Um, oh my god. And I was watching her videos and I was so motivated to, um to build like literally she motivated me so much like i don't even know how to build and i wanted to build but this is how the hospital looks so we have a little kids area over here and i thought this um toy um place that was really cute even though they normally don't ever sit and then i put some tvs over here some coffee some couches um the the desk is the same um, I just added more um, analyzers and two computers because there's always somebody at the computer whenever I need it. Then I added some more x-ray machines because whenever I use them, they're always broken, so I needed more. And then I added more of these tests. And then I added two bathrooms and then two sinks out here and a shower because I added this gym over here, which I think is really cool. Then I added these, like, um, sleeping areas. I added two beds in each room because, you know, you never know when your sim's gonna get tired. And you always gotta do so much stuff. Like, sometimes I'll come to work with Madison and she's super duper tired. So, this will work best. Then I added, like, a little chill-out lounge area over here. Some people can sit over here. Some people can sit over here. And then my favorite part's the kitchen. Um, I don't know. I just really like it. It looks really cool, really cozy. Um, yeah, I, I like it a lot, and I love these windows, actually. I just changed it up a lot. Made it a corner section, and I think it looks really cool. And then I left these areas the same because they take up so much space, but I just left them there. Like, I didn't know what else to do. Then my first idea was to make the beds go against the wall, and then I added a little table there, but... 
I couldn't move, so I'm still figuring it out. Like, here, I was still trying to figure out what I was going to do. But for now, I'm just going to keep it like this. And then maybe the next time I'm off camera, I'm going to add, like, a plan or something or some decoration. Something like that. So it doesn't look that boring. But, um, I don't know. Which setup do you guys like best? Do you like this setup or this setup with a little object on the side that I'm going to, like, cram against the curtain? And then I have this little kids area, which is super duper cute. Um, I also was going with this type of format, but it just was not working. So now I'm back to this one. It's just random. I'm still working on the rooms. Like I think pretty much else is, everything else is done, except for the rooms. I'm still iffy on all the rooms. But let's start our day by running some tests to find a diagnosis. So we are gonna come over here and we're gonna examine her and check her ears and her eyes and then scan her body swab for sample and take temperature i found out a little trick that i normally never knew before so you know how you sometimes diagnose a patient and then you still don't know what you're getting so I found out that you don't really necessarily have to always analyze to swab for like the little sample you get when you swab the patient you can just take them over here to the x-ray do it like one or two times and you will find your diagnosis like I found that out and I was like oh my god this makes everything so much more easier like I have never I've like now I don't mess up anymore. So we got some money from um, our books. So it just helps me out so much more. And I can do so many more patients now. Like it's a lot faster than um, just getting the swab and analyzing it. Because when you analyze, oh my god, it takes forever. So I'm going to actually refer to an x-ray scan. And then sometimes it'll tell me the problem, sometimes it won't. So you just have to do it like one or two times. And even after you do um, do the x-ray and you still don't know what it is, then you would need to swab for, you would need to analyze the swab. But normally I don't really do that that much. So this saves you time. If you guys were ever questioning like, why don't I ever like how can I promote myself really fast and just an easy way without messing up here you go like this will definitely help you out but I'm just gonna speed this up so we don't waste that much time I feel like this episode might be a little long I'm sorry for that but you know I just want to do so many things today and you see so like it indicates a problem and I'm pretty sure we can analyze Ooh, my game's a little laggy right now okay so then compelling diagnosis so she can have the llama flu and sweaty shivers so I'm actually just going to do another x-ray and then you can tell from there like if it doesn't work then you do need to um, oh look we got a house call so um, I'm just gonna finish giving her this x-ray and then we're gonna have the house call I really doubt that we are going to be able to deliver a baby because normally whenever I go into work the little um, there's a little section here that says deliver a baby but there's no patient that's ever pregnant so then I'm just like what baby am I delivering because I don't know so I'm just going to okay so you see so now it shows like what her problem is and I'm going to try to do this really fast before I go. Um, guaranteed diagnosis, llama flu, super easy, super simple. You know, it's a lot faster than um, analyzing it because sometimes you'll analyze and then you waste time and then you don't even know what's wrong. But now I have solved that problem. You're welcome, guys. Uh, unless you knew about this before, then I'm the noob because I never knew this. So... We're just going to treat her and then we're going to go to the house call. So we will transport over there. Okie dokie. So we are over here and these two are pretty sick. 
So if you've never done a house call, this is pretty much what it is. I think I actually recorded the other day when I was doing a house call. I don't really remember. But we're going to examine the patient. And then we're going to examine her. Hopefully our performance goes up. Oh, I didn't even see her. We're going to examine her too. Just going to speed this up a little bit. Speed this up. Okay, and then um, we're going to give medicine, we're going to give medicine, and then we're going to give medicine. Sometimes this doesn't work, like, sometimes they'll, tr like, teleport somehow to, like, the bottom of the apartment, and it's so annoying. But we're going to just give her medicine, and then give him medicine, and our work here is done. Let's see. Yep. Here, here, you helped and treated all patients. Pat's on the back. You did a great job. Now it's time to go back to work. There are some, there are more patients to treat. Click on your stim and select return to the hospital and go back to work. So, yeah, I don't really think we're going to be able to deliver the baby because instead of this coming up, it would say deliver baby. So, sadly, today we're won't be able to deliver the baby but at least you guys came with me to a house call which are pretty fun actually um the first time that i got it i was super excited and i've actually missed one before and i felt so bad but you know i was just so busy at work <laughs> so you know you just gotta prioritize some stuff dang look at all those abs so we're back to work and then we are going to treat another patient so everything's so full now that I've added so many more beds thank god so we're going to examine there's so many kids here um we're actually gonna examine these kids over here so uh, let's see we're gonna examine check ears um check eyes scan body swab for sample and then take a temperature see we're so ready for a promotion i just cannot deliver a baby if you guys are playing the um get to work or with get to work and you're a doctor let me know what level you are on because um i don't know like i'm almost there like i don't really know what to do after because they make a lot of money like her and hunter make a lot of, of cash and it was so good that um I chose these careers because, you know, I want a big family, and when you have a big family, there is so much to do. So I'm going to treat her to the uh, x-ray scan. What happened? Okay. It appears as if Isabella is having problems with the alphabet. She can't seem to get past A. Kudos. What? Yeah, I'm not even doing her homework anymore. <laughs> like I've given up on her most m but most probably next part I will definitely age her up I think that'd be pretty fun and I'm excited to see how she's gonna look and turn out but um I really hope that later today we can actually go to the park and make some friends and if I make a friend um most probably age them up as well and throw a little pool party because I want to um, try out the slides and then I don't know how I feel about the pool and the deck. I'm still iffy about that. So there we go again. We are shown the presence of a treatable alignment. So we are going to come over here and compelling diagnosis, gas and giggles. And then we're going to treat our patient. It just makes the work job a lot easier, honestly. And we're pretty much done with our work day. Look at that. We didn't even need to diagnose her. We already knew her problem. So we are going to come over here and just do some more stuff. Or maybe I'll just cut this out until I finish the work day so I don't waste that much time on the work. And then we can go and find Isabella some friends. Okay, so we're back home and we earned some money. We earned 2535 but we still aren't able to get a promotion. But now we are going to go out 
with Isabella and go find out some friends, like, find some friends, you know? So, I was gonna come over here, but it looks like there are no, there's nobody. Like, there aren't any kids around, so I'm actually going to go and travel to the park. We're just gonna go alone. Hopefully, we find some people there. It's a bit late, but hopefully some sims are out and about. Um... I'm gonna go to the original Willow Creek and we're gonna f find some Sims over here. Yeah, because there's a park, like the good um, children's park is over there and Magnolia Blossom. So we're gonna go over there because the parks in uh, the New World are just not, my, not the best, you know, I don't like them that much because there's not much to do. But I was also thinking about like, um, adding new places into the world and I think that'd be pretty cool so let's see over here okay so there's a little girl over here her name's Ahana Ahana Nair I'm definitely you know butching that but whatever let's see hopefully new kids spawn in I'm gonna be pretty upset if they don't but maybe that could be her like a best friend or something what if she's super rude then I'll be upset. Oh, guess they don't got- <laughs> Guess they didn't get along. So we're gonna suggest some fun activities and get to know her. And then we're going to play make-believe. Pop culture reference. Oh my god, they're not- they're, they're just not getting along. So- Okay, so she's gloomy. We're gonna make a silly face. We're gonna monkey around. Um, we're going to tell make believe story. Okay, they're getting better. So then they're going to do an impression. Okay, they're getting closer. All right, I was scared a little bit because their um, friendship was terrible. But um, looks like they got better, you know? So we are going to enthuse about candy, tell a goofy story, play make-believe. I wish more kids would come, but it looks like nobody's coming, so we're going to just play pirate for a bit. Hopefully some kids come. There are no kids anywhere. Maybe I'll, um, I'll add more kids off camera into the towns I don't think I really I barely have any sims in any of the houses that I have so I'm just gonna be adding more kids around and then I'm just gonna have her travel to their home because this whole park business is not working out for us so we're gonna discuss some interest and tell a goofy story tell a rage story I'm just gonna have her actually go to school and make friends there hopefully she can bring a friend home and things will get better make silly face um let's see ask about her day talk about school I don't know <laughs> um I was gonna trick her with hand buzzer but I don't know how she'd feel about that I feel like she'd be kind of offended because she was not feeling us at the beginning but now we're going to quote cartoon character we're not going to play pirate. Um, let's see. Nobody likes to, well, nobody likes to hear people um, talk about their grades. Like, what if she's doing terrible at school, you know? But it looks like they're getting along, you know, talk about favorite animal, discuss interest. It's not like somebody got a promotion, but nobody got a promotion. Make silly face, uh, play make believe, tell outrageous stories. I know that if you um, say a lot of stories, that your friendship will go up a lot faster. Is there still no kids around? Yeah, it's like nine. No, it's ten. Like, they should be going home. So, I think I'm going to end this part here. Actually, oh my god, our social went up so much. We literally went up um 
three levels just talking to this girl like that was so fast but i think i'm gonna end this part here i'm sorry it's a bit long but i just wanted to do so much most probably off camera i will definitely be getting isabella some friends because girl she needs some friends in her life and most probably most definitely we will have a party in the next episode and I will definitely be aging her up because I can't wait for the curfews, the rebellious teens, and, you know, just little, little, you know, sibling fights in between. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you like this type of episode, um, more like career involved, more kid involved, let me know in the comments down below. And I will definitely do more like this. So don't forget to leave a like, comment down below anything you want, and don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. GG everybody. Bye!